All right, so first we're gonna start out in the console. You can click on this button to make the console um, full size. The console is where we can type in commands. So you can type in things like you can use as a calculator. Like what is two plus two? Hit enter. It will tell you that the answer is one number, it's four. We can do 10 divided by three plus seven. It'll sort out the order of operations for you. Now, if you have a really long bit of say mathematics or a long function, you can split this across multiple lines. So 10 divided by, um, and we haven't finished our operation yet. So if we hit enter, you'll see here that there's a little plus sign. The plus sign just means instead of this prompt that we normally get, it means you haven't finished, you need to finish the statement that you're making. So 10 divided by three plus seven. Now we've finished and can hit enter and we get the same answer. Okay, now we don't need to just work with numbers. We can also work with letters or words words we call them strings and anything inside of quotes is a string so you can say hello now it's not very exciting it just pops it out to the console um, but we can assign these words to variables so let's make a variable called name one and make that my first name now when we run that you don't get any output here, but we can see in the environment tab, now we have a new variable in our environment. The variable is called name one and its value is Lisa. Let's make another one called name two and put in my second name, DeBrian. All right, now we see that there's two variables here. They're in the environment and if we type just the name of the variable in the console, Let's use this in a function. Paste. First, I'll show you what this function does. Paste is a function. It's like an algorithm that takes some inputs. We call them arguments um, and gives you an output. So the paste function takes as many strings as you want as inputs and paste them together with spaces in between. So we're going to paste name one. You put a comma between the different arguments. Name two. There we go. We get back a string that is the first name and the last name pasted together with a space in between. Now we can hit the up arrow to go back to this. What if I try this with a capital N? I'm going to get an error. Now the errors in R can be tricky to understand at first, but what I really want you to do is to read them. So here we have error in paste. So if we were running a long script, this would tell us what function is the error in. And it says the object name to not found. What that means is that function, I've told it to use a variable called name to, but it doesn't exist. So I can look in my environment and see, well, name to does exist, but it's got one has a lowercase n, one has an uppercase n. This makes a difference in our, we can set name two with an uppercase n equals um, x and see that these are two different variables in our environment. Now don't be afraid of making mistakes like this, getting errors. Errors is how you're going to learn. Um, now the variable names have to be Letters, numbers, underscores, or full stops. Those are the only characters that can be in a variable name. And they can't start with a number. So you can't have one name equals x. You'll get this sort of error. Unexpected symbol in one name. And you can't use, say, dashes in a name. So name one equals x. So what it thinks you're trying to do, object name not found. It thinks you're trying to find the variable called name, subtract the number one from it, and then do the nonsensical thing of making that equal to x. 